Calls for justice and prayers for calm. That is how the city is responding tonight as the investigation into Sunday's shooting death by a UC police officer goes into another phase. The Cincinnati Police Department Department rather wrapped up its investigation today and sent its findings to the prosecutor's office. And Prosecutor Joe Dieters made it clear that the body cam video the officer wore will not immediately be made public. Local 12's Anjanette Levy spoke with the family of the man who was shot and killed. She begins our team coverage from UC's main campus. Anjanette. Well, Cammie, earlier today, UC President Santa Ono and Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley, they gathered here and said that there will be reforms made to UC's police department. This comes as that investigation into the shooting is turned over to the county prosecutor's office. Sam DeBose's family says that's a good first step, but they want more. Lord God, we ask that you, that you put the words in our mouths to speak before these people, Thank Lord God. You. A prayer for Sam DeBose and his family. They are frustrated, especially DeBose's fiance. The family wants to see the video, both of the footage. There's more than just one video. The prosecutor's office said it will not release the videos right now because they are evidence that could jeopardize a fair trial for Officer Ray Tenzing if he is charged with a crime. The video is evidence that could also be shown to the grand jury. DeBose's family wants charges filed. Because he did not follow proper protocol and murdered an innocent man, an unarmed innocent man, this case has now been pushed into the hands of the prosecutors who at this time is not releasing the video footage because of the incriminating evidence on it. Our hearts go out uh, to you and we mourn with you. Today, UC President Santa Ono said reforms are needed in UC's police department. Cincinnati police will offer mentoring and training. We heard what Santa Ono had to say and the mayor had to say, and that is yet to be determined what those reforms look like. That's a great step, but this family needs some justice so that they can have peace. Justice is the rallying cry for Sam DeBose's family. They are demanding it. We're going to get justice, Anjanette. We're going to get justice this time. This is a case that's going to receive justice because the father was in our favor. He made sure that the videos did show what happened that night. And tonight there was a forum in Bond Hill. Some members of clergy, local clergy, were added to the agenda in that public forum on another topic. Those people, those clergy members, they did offer prayers for Sam DeBose's family, and they said they will be around to ensure that reforms are made to UC's police department. Reporting live from UC's campus, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Thank you, Anjanette.